the hymns of uh, Charles Wesley and John Wesley are less and less known and sung today, uh, which is, I think, tragic. And uh, this little hymn book, which is one that is very precious to me, called Wesley's Prayers and Praises, uh, contain hymns that most of which aren't in even the Methodist hymn book, um, and which uh, I, like the other hymn books I have, I uh, explore regularly to find hymns that express uh, in words that I couldn't find um, things that I would like to say to God or about God. And today's hymn comes from this hymn book, and it's one about being witnesses again. Uh, and it's, again, being witnesses not simply to the cross and Jesus dying and invite people to believe in him as Savior, but it's being witnesses to God, to his being, his power, his glory, because the, uh, the desire, again, thinking from top down rather than bottom up, uh, the, the message that we're here to proclaim and to be prophets to is not um, uh, to say to people, you're in need and you're in problems and you can't sort them out and God's willing to help you if you trust in Jesus, sort of bottom up, starting with their need. The, the motivation for us is that God is to be worshipped. The God who has saved us, the God who has created us, is worthy of our worship. And we want people to come to faith that they might become worshippers uh, and not just believers. And uh, I do believe that in the way society is going, that becomes uh, easier for us to do rather than harder as uh, our faith stands out more and more clearly in the darkness. And we speak out what we believe about God. Uh, our um, trust in his providence, our trust in his care, our faith in him to guide, direct us, that we really do believe in the living God, Father, Son, and Spirit, and in Jesus in His, uh, as the Son of God in his threefold office of king, priest, and prophet. And um, this is like another prayer in this hymn, asking God to help us to do this naturally, not to hide what we believe in our hearts, but uh, to express it to those that we live and work among. And certainly for my own part, I find people, uh, whether it's in business or any life, seem increasingly today to uh, think they have the freedom to use language that I find um, either offensive or um, uh, certainly wouldn't use myself. Uh, but rather than take offense, I sort of feel that gives me the liberty to talk the way I would like to talk and to bring my father into the conversation, to bring my Lord into the conversation, to talk about my faith in him. And uh, if I give them the liberty to express things in their language, then I expect to have the liberty to express things in my language. And I have to say, I've never, ever found anyone to be hostile to doing that. And uh, this is, a, a, I think, uh, a hymn, a prayer that really encapsulates this idea. I cannot hide within my heart. I must proclaim his love and power. His right to worship must assert till all give glory unto God. His works to others I must show and make his name and nature known. It's not enough for me to know the things which God for me has done. His works to others I must show and make his name and nature known. And make his name and nature known. I cannot hide this in my heart. I must proclaim his love and power. His right to worship must assert They'll all give glory up to God They'll all give glory on to God Faith which in my heart I feel Will with my own mouth confess That others to his praise might tell His faithful witnesses increase his faithful witnesses increase. His 
family on earth beneath, magnify with those above the God who saves our souls from death, the quickening power of dying love, the quickening power of dying.